Hello everyone and welcome to a Flash Game Christmas Special. We have nine games to play today and the first one is this. Deep Freeze! I have played this game in the past and it's really as simple as you jump, you move, and you gotta freeze all of these different bad guys. Once you've frozen one you can give it a kick and send the ice ball rolling into their friends. I think one of the most memorable things about this game were all the enemy designs. Like, for example, we've got these... Oh, that was... that was a really good hit. We've got these purple guys. They kind of look like uh, gangsters, mobsters or something. It's interesting, like, what, what, was the, uh, what was the idea behind that? And look at this poor guy struggling. Freeze! What was the description of this? Freeze your enemies with your water gun and stop the bad guys from ruining Christmas. That's it. It's as simple as that. You know, sometimes you don't need a complex plot. You just need to stop the bad guys from ruining Christmas. Oh, what's that? Power up? Hold on. Hold on. Stay there. Range up. All right, that's pretty good. We've got these hearts, right? You see all these hearts at the top? We've got to conserve this for the entire run of the game. If I run out of hearts, I'm done. Like, you have to restart from the beginning. You can't just restart from the level select or something. Each level also has a time limit, so we can't be overly careful as well. Alright, so here is the first boss, and it's against this weird jester guy. Oh, nice detail by the way. Oh boy, that was unfortunate. Sorry, I was looking at the nice detail, which is... Notice how I have hearts, but he has spades. This is quite classic boss design here. Knock the mooks into the boss to hurt him. Oh, I don't like these dogs. Oh, these dogs suck. That's not good, I've already lost three hearts. Alright, there we go, that should do it. Hey, whoa, look at all those prizes. Mmm, Christmas. Oh, the music's changed a little bit, nice. So here's the second set of levels. Oh, there's a new type of enemy. He looks like uh, a Shakespearean alien or something. Oh, hearts. Oh, yeah, we definitely can't miss that. I've only got one heart missing, though. Oh, it's time for another boss, and I know who it is. Yes, it's the fabulous ice cream. Oh, don't spit your ice cubes at me. Do your dance. I know you've got a dance you can do. Oh, it's crying. Oh, that's not fair. Alright, we got to Hey, there's the dance. <laughs> that movement's great, look at that. Let's get him over here, so he spits there, okay. Oh, there's a heart. Yes! Actually got quite a few hearts, I think I've been kind of lucky. At least from what I remember. Yes. Quick, go down. There's another heart. Yes! That's more important than the score. High scores are for schmucks. Who cares? Hey, I like this song. Do, 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 do. Nice little Deck the Halls rendition. Oh, come on. I was listening to the music. Yeah, get over there. Oh, this, this devil thing is chasing me. This demon. It's a pretty normal design, really. It's just, yeah, it's a demon. Oh, it's the demons. Why are the demons just so aggressive? Oh, I'm gonna get trapped. Oh, you nasty, nasty thing. Don't appreciate it. Oh, come on. These demons are gonna be the end of me, I swear. Look at this! <laughs> I'm getting absolutely ruined. Hey, there you go. Oh, I can't believe that took so many of my hearts in one go. That's really unfair. Alright, I should have been moving around a bit more. Oh, that sucks. I can't believe I'm down to half hearts now. I got more power up though, you see that now? Oh, and there's another one. So I can freeze them real fast now, that's very nice. I, well, I don't really know this boss. It's a Tumblr sexy man vampire bat. Did he just have like, if he had a kissy face then, that's disturbing. Oh, we're so screwed. Get rid of some of these enemies. <gasps> He's coming down. So I've got to time the rolling ice for when he comes. I think it's a sheep, probably. I don't know, when they come down. I really got to time the rolling ice. That's just not going to happen. <laughs> it's not going to happen. <laughs> I can tell you that much. I got one heart left. This vampire, ambiguously gendered vampire, is killing me. For sure. Oh, no. This has been yeah, too much of a difficulty spike there, I'm afraid. But hey, at least we got to the third boss. We didn't see the last one. And look, Santa's... That's kind of creepy. What is going on here? He's gushing tears and then they're freezing up, I guess. But he's just so he's screaming in agony. Like, or anguish, I guess. Like, he, can't, he couldn't save Christmas. So, here we have a much calmer game. This is Sugar Sugar, the Christmas special. Now, I definitely played Sugar Sugar when I was younger. But this is the Christmas one. I don't think I played this one. 
But it's the same concept, I assume. There's a lot of levels. Definitely not getting through all these. So hey, the sugar is kind of like snow now, I guess. It makes sense for this game to have a Christmas themed one. Oh, we gotta do this quick. So yeah, we gotta draw lines so the sugar or snow can reach, or dandruff, can reach the cup. And we fill it up and we get to go to the next level. It's as simple as that, but we have Christmassy shapes for us to have. That was a great sentence. So, okay, look, we've got to do this one first, and then we'll do another line to get down to the other one. All right, that's full. I just realized that's full. <laughs> that was also a very hasty line, but I think it should work. Oh, no, we're getting overflowing. Save the sugar. I like the music. So far, we're two for two on good music in these games. White sugar in the white cup, orange sugar in the orange cup. Why are we segregating sugar, huh? That's not very Christmassy. Well, look, there's... Better build, like, a, a tube for it to go down. There's the white sugar. We've got to work with these trees a little bit, but that's okay. As long as they can make it in. I don't know how much there is of this stuff. If it's infinite, I don't know. Oh, there's a hole here. we got another one of these warp holes. I just realized I did this way too close. Okay, let's reset that. We've got to think ahead. Okay, we can't just blindly do it. We've got to plan ahead. Oh, we need to do it here as well. <laughs> Whoopsies. There we go. All right, so now we got... Uh, oh, this is interesting, because they're going to cross over. So how is this going to work? Let's just try doing that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Blue sugar. I've never heard of that before. Must be a Christmas thing. Oh, two channels of sugar. Now I get, the rate of sugar is increased twofold. Push the button. Eh, eh, eh. Oh, it's gravity. It's a gravity level. Okay. No worries, because these are mechanics in the actual sugar sugar, I assume. But look, this time it's baubles. <laughs> you can sell anything if you just put Christmas, slap Christmas on it. Not that this is a paid game, it's free, but it's baubles. Nice tube, there we go. Oh, I, I made a cavern. That's very cool. Hey, don't fall to the side, all right? Get right into that mug. This is definitely more of a, uh, it's a Christmas skin on a game rather than a Christmas directly game. All right, well, there's a couple stars there, but uh, this is getting too much, too puzzly for me, so <laughs> we'll leave it there. Next up, we have Rocket Santa, which I've played once, I think. Hey guys, this is a quick game we made for the holidays. We wanted to send you our best wishes and thank you all again for playing our games. You rock. Thanks, Berserk Crew. I don't know what else they've made, but thanks. Bit of a weird one, this, because it's so tall, but you'll see why. Oh, whoa, Christmas Eve 2019. The alien war is raging on the moon. Our boys deserve gifts. That's right, Santa. Damn. This Santa's even more evolved than the Deep Freeze one. I wonder if they're related. Maybe they know each other. Maybe it's the same one and this happens after or something. Other way, he's really taking things up a notch by strapping a rocket to his back. Bang, zoom, straight to the moon. Careful. All right, Rocket Santa, there he is. But we've got to hit as high as possible. And then it's a game. Oh, we can control him. Oh, nice, I like it. Oh, we don't have much. That rocket is a bit of a dud. Which is why we've got to make money so we can buy upgrades and get even further. You see? So it's, it's one of these games. More fuel for longer flights? Yeah, well, we've got to get the first step of that. Here we go, look, here we go. Boom. Oh, yes, a perfect start. Perfect launch. Come on, Santa, up into space with you. We got a boost as well, we got, I can click a boost, but that's it, I didn't get any of those checkpoint boosts that time, so. Could at least throw me a bone here, you know, Sky, gotta get as many of these coins as possible, okay? It's not really about height right now, it's about making money, even Santa's gotta make money. Oof! Right, more coins in the sky, yeah, we need that. Let's get two of those. Hey! Oh, ten! Nice. 25? Oh yeah, this was an upgrade that was worth getting. you got to focus on these if you want to get far on this game, clearly. Not really a lot to it. I'm really focusing on this money so I can just get as much as possible. Nice new rocket, by the way. I, I like it. I'm not just saying that because I want more presents, trust me. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I truly believe that's a nice rocket, Santa. I'm not just being sycophantic so you can give me more presents. But I did notice previous years have been a little light, you know, slim picking. So we're in a bit of an economic crisis right now. It hits everyone, including you. But that's why you're getting money, right? No, that was tantalizingly close. I can almost taste the metal. 
Well, there might be chocolate coins, mightn't they? There should probably be chocolate coins. That's a bit Christmassy. You do get money for each one of these uh, things you pass, so it's not just about the coins. Carol of the Bells is kind of overused with dramatic Christmas things, but uh, it's it's a cool inclusion here. I like how they use different parts for different parts of the game. I want big boy cannon. There we go. Oh, yeah. No, I missed the booster. <gasps> I made it! Yes! I did it. I didn't think I was going to do it on that one. Well, I didn't have time to read that, but it said victory. I saw that much. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Well, enjoy killing the aliens or whatever the premise was. I, I forgot already. So here we have Christmas Cats. There are actually a couple of different games named Christmas Cats, but one of them was a platformer, and I've already got a couple of platformers on this list. So I went with this one instead, which is a point-and-click game. Play this game and the other Bonte Cat Adventures on mobile in the Where is Cat app. Uh, I'm good, thanks. We're just, we're just trying to play the Christmas Cat. Oh. An intro, wow. This is the exact same music that was in Sugar Sugar. <laughs> I'm gonna be hearing these sleigh bells in my sleep tonight. Find the 20 red balls, well, there's one. Right, so we just gotta find balls? Okay, well I can do that. Hey, right, well, there's another one. Nothing behind the racket. I mean, I would have seen if there was something behind here, wouldn't I? There's a mouse hole with its own little rug. Wouldn't think the cat would approve. Oh, what? I've got to do like a combination? Oh boy. Okay, well, we'll have to find out what that is. Cactus? No. Red ball in there? Yes. Cooking? No. Two on the ears? Wow, they really love this cat. Look, picture. Picture. Oh, <laughs> this one's been vandalized. Picture. And look, they got a picture in every room of the house. Oh, hey, I thought there might be one there. I had to do a bit of work. Look, juggling the cushions. All right, this is locked. We're going to need a key for that. Nothing behind there. Cover this up. Don't want people peeping on me while I'm looking for balls. Hey, one under the trumpet. Why was the tree knocked over? I wonder who could have done that. Uh, what's this? All right, that's 11. 11 out of 20. Well, we've got to finish this. We can't not find all the red balls. That's kind of the whole point. Let's cook the cat. I mean, let's cook the ball balls. I, I want to see this cat. Oh, it's a little present for the mouse. Cool, does that mean anything? Hey, it gave me a key, thank you. Oh, it's for this. Yeah, there we go, look. And I got the candy cane. Ah, I see. So we got insert into here, yes. What a weird fridge. I like how the cat jumped on top of the Christmas tree and it sent the red balls all around the house including in locked locations. <laughs> Where's the logic? No, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Look, we don't need logic, we just need to find the balls. Oh wait, here's the, look, look at this, look at the curtain. This one's facing that way, and then that way. All right, so we got a left, right, up, right, down. Yeah, left, right, up, right, down. Yes, there we go. We got this guy now. So there's probably more secret little clues like that. Wait, of course, the handle's on the cat. Yeah, there we go. It's all coming together now. There we go, hey. I don't know exactly, we've got the candy canes. What is gonna clue us into that is the question. All right, we got the bow as well, that was on the cat. We got the, we got the little bow. We just need the star. Do we see a star anywhere? It's this, isn't it? It's these stockings, look. Right, left, right, left, left, right, 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 left. Left, right, left, left, right, 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 left. There it is, there's the star. And then we plug that in, we can open the fridge. There's the candy cane combination, okay. Up, right, left, left, up, down, up. Left, left, up, down, up. No. Oh, I did it, I thought it was wrong for a second. No, I got the red key, and we need to pick up these balls as well. Three whole balls in the fridge. Okay, the red key I assume is for this. Yes, it is. We've got a flashlight now. What can I do with a... What am I calling it? A flashlight? Am I American? A torch. What can I do with a torch? I reckon we shine it in there, don't you think? Yes. Oh, there you are! What are you doing up the chimney? Can I pet? No, sadly you cannot pet the cat in this game. It's cute though. We just need to know this combination now. Oh, here it is. Look, it's on the presents. It's cookie, candy cane, star. Wait, it's different colours. Oh, it's different colours as well. Oh, no, I got it. <laughs> well, it was different colours. Oh, 
Cats should never stand like that. No, don't do that as well. No, 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 no. Look, hey, that's all. That's nice and everything. You know, I appreciate you want to dance, but this is just it's a little creepy. A cat shouldn't dance like that. You're looking like that one weird meme from a while back. You know, there's some freaks out there. You don't want to be doing that. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, I can't look at this any longer. It's freaking me out. This game is 20 megabytes. Wow, that's pretty big for a flash game. This is the Impossible Quizmas. That's right. You've probably seen or heard of the Impossible Quiz. This is the Christmas version of it, which I've never played. I've only ever played the original Impossible Quiz. Play. Oh, yeah. We're off to a very good start with the fart noise. Can't wait for this to annoy the hell out of me. All right, so. Does it have to be so obnoxiously loud, please? On the first day of Impossible Quizmas, my true love gave to me Alan Partridge in a pear tree, Hepatitis B, a Satsuma, Electron Thermodynamics. Is this completely random or am I supposed to be able to intuit the answer here? Satsuma. Hepatitis. Of course it was the STD. Alright, well, who draped spaghetti over Scrooge's chest? The ghost of Christmas pasta. The ghost of Christmas present. The ghost of Christmas yet to come. The devil himself. Pasta. Right, okay, so that was the obvious answer. What is this? Waving salt? Wait, why am I playing draw for now? Waving salt, season's greetings, pepper people, abomination. That's easy. Find the dodgy bulb. I saw that. I know my lights, alright? I'm a I'm a sucker for Christmas lights, so I see them. Very easily if they're out. What makes Rudolph's nose glow red? Fairy dust, elf dandruff, Santa's bum crumbs. I like how we got a little Santa Merry Christmas. This damn music. Uh years of alcohol abuse. Oh yeah. Um, you wanna... Oh, I see, you gotta lick it to... You gotta lick it away. Man, too many candy cane catnips, I think. Who wrote the song Silent Night? I don't know. That one. I died. Let's just try again. We know the answers now, hmm? So... Oh, it's another one of these, look. What is this? Punchy paper, calendar, boiled cabbage, boxing day. Well, that's easy. Silent Night, Carol. Yeah, it was Carol. What is this? Seasonal headwear. Oh, God. That's... That's distressing, I don't like that. Why the hell did you make this game in Flash? <laughs> well, why indeed? It's all I know, this quiz was started in 2009. Because Flash is the pinnacle of online entertainment. For the authentic, slightly ropey impossible quiz experience. That one? Yeah, thought so. Press H. A. L. I. B. U. T. Halibut. Ha, <laughs> lol random. Oh, I just got, I got a skip. Wait, what? Why does Father Christmas leave your presents? Oh god. Christmas tree. No, I fucked it up. What the heck is this? Death ball. Hey, Merry meaty treats. Tin cell. Tin cell, right, yeah. <laughs> god damn, I have to do this cat every time. Frank says G I B L giblets. Mmm, yeah. I'm just gonna skip this one for now because I don't get it. So now there's a Christmas quiz, how about a Halloween special? Too late, the question is the Halloween special. I can't be asked. it's too spoopy. This question is, how would you rate this quiz so far? A solid 6 out of 10. Damn it, it's almost too Christmassy. Uh, not as good as originals? Sh sugar, I mean snow. Damn it, cat! I still don't understand this one. Oh, there. It's underneath the Christmas tree, because it's under- I get it! So what, is it mediocre? Okay, so, so there's something else to this one. 13? Wait, what? Oh, five stars! No! Oh. Uh, oh my goodness. Ouch, ouchy ouch. This is hurting my mouse hand. Oh, mistletoe under the holly. Where do pirates hide their Christmas presents? In a massive chest. Under a palm tree, in the bowels of the Kraken. Pirates don't celebrate Christmas. Come on, surely they do. Is there going to be a twist to this one? X marks a spot, right? Yeah. <laughs> Prepare for takeoff. Wait, what? I don't get it. I don't know what I'm doing. Skip it, skip it, skip it. Oh, this is this is even worse. This is freaking me out. Give up. 
I've had enough. This is Adventure Elf. It's actually a shockwave game, not a flash game, but similar kind of thing. Yeah, look, if you pay, you get to play untimed, more lives, bonus rounds, personal scoreboard, full screen gameplay, bigger Kringleville. Oh, hundreds of new maps. You get to actually play the game. Yeah, this is really a paid game and this is a free trial of one. Always annoyed me when I was younger, but I made do with what I had. Unfortunately, you know, if I click this, we get a 404 error, so that's nice. But we're in luck because Flashpoint has provided a power player code. It is 652698. Yes, I'm such a power player! Yeah, exciting, isn't it? Well, for the first time at least, I can play this game untimed. Let's go! Christmas Eve, Kringleville. Home of Santa's Kringle Co. Toy Factory. Oh, it's fast. Oliver the Elf, foreman for Kringle Co. Toy Factory number six, was making his final rounds. The toys had been made, the sleigh was loaded, and Santa was ready to go when he made a discovery that would take him on the adventure of his life. Frank and his gang of penguins had stolen the presents from Santa's sleigh. Oh no, indeed. Your goal is to help Oliver nab two penguins to save Christmas. Use your left and right arrow keys and spacebar to jump. Yeah, that's all it is. All this game is, is movement. You move and you jump. No shooting even. But now I don't have a time limit to worry about, so we can actually properly appreciate all the little details in this game. Like, look, reindeer hut. We can collect all of these different items for bonus score. Which now I have no time limit, is easier to do than ever, but I don't really care about bonus score. And we've got to be careful not to... die? Oh look, there's that one done. We've got to be careful not to fall to our death or step on a trap or something like that. New for this round, Donut, 25 points. What's that say? Tux for rent. Like Tux Penguin. I remember that, yeah. Alright. Screw- Hey, whoa, that's bad. Yeah, you, you didn't have to tell me that. Ah, there we go. We can use this uh, magical pickle to get rid of that trap. Let's read this. Scrooge's A Small Man's Club. Appearing tonight, Dancer, Prancer and Vixen. Is that like a gentleman's club? This does seem like a bit of a South Park of a game, to be honest. Hey, Shorty! Hey, did you just call me Shorty? Or did you say Shorty? I don't really appreciate either. Kringle Toy Company. A happy elf is a busy elf. <laughs> Alright, I think that's... Oh yeah, no, careful. That ice is slippery. We don't want to step on that. This is the end of the level here anyway, look. Let's finish this off. Yeah, so uh, we'll just do a few levels and we'll call it there, but it's very nice. Oh, bonus round's still timed. Okay, fair enough. We've got to get as many of these peppermints as we can in the time limit. Oh, the single loop of Jingle Bells has come back. Ready? And then it loops again. Oh, I, I kind of liked that. I was getting into the flow of that then. Into space! We don't even need a rocket. Santa's... Oh, is that it? Okay, well, there's not actually anything up there. I think Oliver... Oh, whoops. I need to watch out for fruitcakes next time. Right. Fruitcakes that make a farting sound. Is it specifically those, or...? Yeah, Oliver talks a bit too much, i got to be honest. He's a bit chatty. It's one of those kind of game protagonists, you know. I want to go down one of these tubes, man. These tubes are fun. Whee! Oh, that's nice. A little Christmas slide. You guys are just pretenders. You think you're the... What? You think you're the penguins in Madagascar, huh? Or you think you're the penguin from Wallace and Gromit? Oh, what is... Look at this! Oh, this is a dangerous situation. Oh, we need that pickle. We can't get past that without a pickle. We'll be in a pickle. <laughs> Alright, nice. Alright, here we are. Bonus round two. Let's get these peppermints and uh, I guess we'll call it there unless we get anything new in the next level. I've not done so well on this bonus round. Well, that's fine. Whatever, look. Yeah, there's nothing new here. So, poo poo. I'm done. I wanted a Christmas cooking game and of course... I turn to Sarah. Here we have Sarah's cooking class, Christmas pudding! Let's see how to make Christmas pudding, shall we? Oh, she's actually like talking to me through a portal, wow. Okay, so make vanilla custard. Wait, I've got a time... I've got a time limit? What? No, why are you putting pressure on me? Sugar? I know how to pour that. Oh no, sorry, I've got to put it in the bowl first. And then put the eggs in with it, yeah. Give it a stir. No, we stir... Oh, we spoon it into there. Right, 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 right. I, I get you. Give it a whisk, then what do we do? Spoon a little bit more, bit at a time. 
No, let me put that into there. Because this custard making is a complicated business. Cook until mixture begins to thicken. I got three stars probably because I was a little bit slow, but that's fine. Alright. I mean, how else can they measure? Like, misclicks? Anyway, currants, raisins, pudding. Christmas pudding's got so many little bits. Never really the biggest fan of Christmas pudding, but I do like uh, mince pies. They're very good. Better not judge Sarah. She's going to pop out that portal and kill me with a candy cane. Uh, what have we got? Glacé cherries. Lovely. I love that this has, like, default text, basic text on the salt. Stir it up. Oh, wow, look at that animation. Oh, eggs, right, yeah, beat the eggs, yeah, beaten eggs, nice and beaten. Like me when I mess up on Sarah's cooking. And then we get that in the pan, get the water, get it steamed, oh yeah, very nice, get that on there. Sarah doesn't have like a proper oven stove, by the way, she just has the electric hob. Uh, let cook four to five hours. How do you do anything with just this one, or do you bring out all the different electric stove tops? Alright, get the string away, get that away, oh, there we go, oh, burn myself, no, it's fine, we use that. Ah, the old flip and take out, oh yes, look at that. It's, it's not the most pleasing shape, is it, when you just take out the bowl like that, but it'll do. And there's our custard that we made earlier, mmm, there's still some more there. Love a bit of custard with my pud. There's a reference for you. Alright, stick that on, fruit around the sides. So how much do they get in total? Three stars. <sighs> Mm, not the best. She's giving me a Facebook wink though. Right, so here we have the weirdest game on my list today. Peter's Holiday Snowball Fight Game. Yes, the actual Peter, animal activists. Help make the holiday safe for animals by fighting back against notorious animal abusers. <laughs> what has this got to do with Christmas? Alright, <laughs> let's see what the what is the gameplay here. Fur hags are on the loose. Don't tell them that I've got a leather jacket. Uh, don't let Madonna, Donna Karen, who? And the Trollson twins. Oh, Olsen twins? Trollson twins? Yeah, that's great. Push fur this holiday season. Be careful not to hit the shoppers. Do not hit me. Do not hit me. Let's start this. So, am I shooting them? Oh, I still hit it. Fur hags. Look at these fur hags. <laughs> oh, this is, this is the funniest game. Oh, we can really spam this, actually. Well done! Shopping mall stage complete. Congratulations, you've defeated Fur Foes, Donna Karen, Madonna. They just thought Madonna and then thought of another Donna, I guess. And those pesky Trollson twins. Continue on. Animals still need you! Okay, Peter! Wow, well, look, see, don't you want these sexy animal activists to, uh, you know, come down your chimney? Wait, no. Never mind. Grinch's Colonel Sanders and Charlton Heston. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, have risen from the grave to ruin the holiday season, so we're murdering zombie- okay. Send these notorious animal abusers back to where they came from. Don't hit the children though. Oh, but I want to hit the ch- mm, I want to hit the children. Alright, I'll, I'll hit them, but if I see children, I'm firing at them too. Hey, give it- yeah, get the children, get the bloody children. I'm assuming everybody I see, This is. I'm not animal rights activist, I'm just anti-people generally, so anyone I can see, I'm shooting them, alright? Well done, graveyard stage complete. I got zero. Congratulations, you've sent Charlton Heston and Colonel Sanders back to the grave. And I got a bunch of kids right between the eyes. What have we got next, Peter? Eight Bells Jockey, who has been working at Sanders' workshop since he lost his racing job, is now trying to race reindeer. Your help is needed, but watch out for elves. But to be fair, I don't like horse racing, so actually, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll help on this one. I agree with you on this one, Peter. I'm not a fan of horse racing practice, so let's go! Never mind the fact that it encourages betting. I thought there's just one of each. Why are, this, why are they clones? There's something more going on here. I kept getting some elves. I'm sorry, I'm just like seeing red, I guess. Congratulations, you defeated Eight Bells Jockey just in time. Now there's only one villain remaining before the holidays are completely animal friendly. <sighs> Who could it be? Sarah Palin? <laughs> Oh, this is outdated. Alright, it's trying to hurt Santa's reindeer. You must save Rudolph and friends, but be sure not to hit the reindeer. Oh, don't worry, I'll get Sarah Palin. I don't even know what. why is she here. I don't know. Oh, she shoots. She hunts. She's a hunter. Alright. Looks like I'll go for her. Why is she dressed like skimpy as well? Time up. You'll need to work on your aim if you want to save animals from the Grinches who want to eat, wear, eat, race, and hunt them. Wait, why? Damn it, Sarah. You're too slippery. Old Slippery Sarah Palin. 
Thanks to you, the holiday season is safe for all animals. <laughs> Why is she decapitated? I'm sorry, are Peter like a parody? You've made a difference for all animals all over the world. Spread the holiday cheer by sending Peter's holiday snowball fight game to your loved ones. Oh yeah, don't, uh, don't worry, I will. It'll be in their stockings. Why is this so dramatic? I'm just decorating a tree. Do they have the rights to this music? No, probably not, which means I don't, but uh, here we are. Dolly Dolly presents Christmas tree decoration. I don't think I'm the target audience for this. How do I keep playing games that are on, like, games for girls and stuff? Whatever, it's decorating Christmas tree. Everybody does that. I, I like, I, I do that. I like decorations. I said already, I'm a sucker for lights. I'm a whore for lights. Let's go. Yeah, that's great. It's a bit much though. I've had enough of this music. And this is my last game. I thought it'd be nice to end on a simple Christmas tree decoration. Nice and cozy. This fire is probably going to go out of control and burn the whole place down. It's a tree. What do we do first? Lights, probably the first thing to do. So we have... Oh, we got different lights. I don't like that very much. Hmm, those are pretty good. Oh, that's like a spider web of lights. Yeah, that's a bit rubbish. That's like you're not even tried, you know? That's just lazy. And no lights. All right, so we're going to go with these. These are the best, I think. Now, I did find this game beforehand. The reason I chose it is because it lets you freely play stuff. We've also got beads. Let's get some... Oh, stars. It's quite a neat idea, actually, having it like this, because it covers up the uh, the strings of the lights a bit. I like this. This is quite traditional. I'm doing this a bit randomly. Usually I'd be a bit more meticulous with my tree decorating. But uh, it's been a long recording session, all right? Hey, look, there's a tree. Let's get the topper on. Um, I'm not too traditional, but I do like a star. Oh, Merry Christmas! Exclamation mark. Like, what, what is that stance they're doing? They're like NPCs. Yeah, look, you can see what's happened to the website. It's just become raw HTML links and uh, some pictures. <laughs> Can I read this description? Get your decorations ready and prepare your Christmas tree because it's time to have colourful fun. Join the Dolly Dolly friends and taste the holiday's flavour. There's no perfect Christmas without this beautiful element around your house. Around? Where will Santa leave all the great presents he has prepared? Rate this game! Yay, look, it's, it's an alive, happy Christmas tree. Although we could make it into an evil, sinister Christmas tree. Yeah, I like that. The Christmas tree is laughing maniacally because it's impaled an angel and the angel's legs are gone. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy holidays. Shut up. That's all from me for these Christmas games. Thanks for watching. See you next time.